He's too finally getting on with the small draw. He's backbreaker to showing the vicious side of him on the franchise player here. It's this type of offense that is gonna put on the study and analyze and, and get ready to go up against a bunch of he's gonna wanna walk out of Detroit, his hometown is a UWA champion. This sure franchise is gonna be definitely study, studying lots of tapes after just narrowly losing it back at Beach Party Slam. He doesn't want to make any, even a single slightest mistake that could cost him, especially in his hometown. Samoa Joe picking up the story, taking him over. Samo Franchise back up though. Samoa Joe tries to trip him. Franchise isn't having any of that as he has taken the corner. That's a close line, blocks it. I was swept on. Oh my, reversal, DDT. And now here comes the destroyer. Samoa Joe having a little breather. Knees to the guts and this gets slammed. Cover here. The franchise with the whereabouts had the foot on the ropes. Oh, nice shining wizard there. Knees to these two individuals are getting destroyed and Francis Player both old longtime rivals. You know, a few years ago, of course, it was the score who won his first West Coast Championship from the Frickers player two years ago. But now, of a sense, these two have mutual respect for each other. It's moves like that, that for the Frickers player, but he would spin out power bomb. And now, look at this. Frickers player going to refresh the destroyer's memory here with all this offense with these, these kicks and leg drops. A huge shoulder tackle. Story tried to roll out the way. Oh! Franchise singling here. Goes off the ropes and that. And here it is. There is the five level shuffle. Wait a minute. Oh, he's in. Look at this. He has the STFU cinched in in the middle of the ring. And no one near the ropes here. He's going to tap out here. It's Roy Magler comes in. And looks like he kicked out of it. Uh, uh, look at this, the destroyer falling back here. And Lord Magma's in the ring. Oh my god! Look at that. Lord Magma just got on the receiving of that huge spinning DDT by the destroyer. That move that he's made famous so many times. Uh, franchise using the shoulders, trying to get out of this, trying to wear out the destroyer, but this is it's not working too well. He's trying it, he's trying to. Hardest to get out of it. Oh, the third one spells the end of that. That backbreaker. Oh, look at this insult to injury. The destroyer's gonna go for this five knuckle shuffle. Oh, oh come on. Destroyer lays it down. Oh, like I said, these guys have mutual respect for each other, so don't be surprised that you know the destroyer emulates the fitness player with his five knuckle shuffle. A Samoa Joe back in the ring against the franchise player. And Samoa Joe just told you that. Talk about great ring awareness and great ring skills by the Samoan submission machine. Right now, the franchise player's got bust up by that knee by Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe with this horrendous offense under the franchise player. This is the same type of offense we almost we just about saw at Beach Party Slam. DTS Lord Magma now legal come in here Franchise wants to stay back a little bit after this that fresh cut oh, Lord Magma exposing the turnbuckle here Wait Snap Aaron did a knee drop off the all the ropes Oh trying to cut the Trying to make the cut even worse on the small Joe's. He's rubbing it. That's going to make the blood come out a lot faster. Oh, for... Oh, small Joe blocked that. Smart enough not to get hanged up in the corner. Wait, here it is. A Lord Magma slams down once. Look him back up again and slams him down to that, to the last ride to Armageddon. A slam them right down the hill. This is going to be a right here. But he didn't go for the pinfall there. This. He knew the destroyer was going to probably break that up. And now look at this. Samoa Joe. 
takes in a strike. The strike coming with all the momentum here. Takes down. One Magma goes out. Wait. Oh, he busts it. Hits him up on the ropes. And cut the momentum in half there. It's destroyed. All the momentum destroyed had. Now coming back again with this DDT at the Lord Man to cut him off guard once more. The cover here. Franchise trying to get back in, but he didn't need it. So Lord Man kicked that all by himself. Surprisingly, the Swords gonna actually get some a fair amount of offense on the on Lord Magma. Of course, he's two on strangers. Remember, the first, the, the Destroyer competed in, in the Elimination Chamber match with Lord Magma is also one of his opponents. There. So these two are, are far from strangers. So look at this! He has him a big judgment slam. The slams to the Swords on his neck. And a rope break, man, the Destroyer's feet were near the ropes. That would have been it for sure. I don't know who could kick out that judgment slam as it gets up seven feet in the air onto the neck. And again, the Destroyer, that DDT once again is telegraphing more magma, catching off guard. More magma with no answer to that DDT. Oh, in precarious position here, Lord Magma inches away. Oh my God, getting his head twice now, three times, four. Destroyer letting go. Oh my God, what strength here! Oh, forward electric chair. Electric chair drop on the Lord Magma. I mean, Lord Magma has got at least a hundred pounds or more heavier than the Destroyer. He's about to get on shoulders, jumping face first. Destroyer can't. Oh my god, nice slant on there, but the Destroyer can't afford to be, you know, expending so much of this energy tonight. I mean, I know it's a high stakes match, but he even has a big one 10 days away at Bloodshed. Oh, look, this distracted by the referee and Lord May with that nice backbreaker. Right, Nisi. I mean, the, the story has nothing to gain or lose this man. So, I mean, why he put out so much effort and energy into this match? I mean, look at this. A double teamwork. My God, a huge powerball for top rope. I don't know why Franchise didn't go for cover. Now Stalling goes for cover now, but and that's what I mean. Expending way too much time. Destroy got out there in the two count. Yeah, you're right, so normally a pop by that would cut some a normal individual in half. That would definitely spell a three count like that by that hesitation. Destroyer was able to kick out of that. And a franchise player, of course, making up for his mistakes. It's going it's going to the legs of the destroyer. That's gonna take out the Camonian Cyclone and the Camonian Destroyer. It's two finishers. Not to mention added the STFU. That's definitely gonna come in franchise's favor. Snow Joe now tagged in. Comes in with a huge clothesline now. Oh, but hangs up on the third rope. Gets tripped down. Samoa Joe. That three minutes or three or four minutes or so breather he took. And it's paying off here. The franchise in the corner. Oh, classic Samoa Joe here. He's going for He's got him up. And there it is. Muscle bust. This is gonna be it right here. The referee, Minnesota, Lord Magma, with the assist. The referee cannot hold Lord Magma at bay. I still don't know why we hired this guy. It's all four men are now on the outside here. The, ref the referee counting with. Somebody getting in the ring here now. The referee's only one on, what, on two? This guy's no. Uh, you know, three count. These four are not, show, they're not showing any signs of slowing down. But Samoa Joe just ran more than Magma's head on the end of the steel step, the power bomb. Again, on the bomb step there. My God. What about the brutality of these four men? Samoa Joe let more than Magma down. I think he couldn't pick him up. He was, he, more than Magma was too heavy. The ladies guys are still bowing back here. We're still gonna get back in the ring. I don't want to see this get out and encounter. Oh, and then it does. Come on. And double count out. Oh, the fifth goes fifth. It's definitely a piss off at the end of this match. Oh, wait a minute. The destroyer is, is clean. Someone goes clock with that ring bell. What's the man? This is your partner. We're all talking about mutual respect between the Destroyer and Franchise, which allows now the Destroyer to go to his own partner, Samoa Joe. 
franchise can't believe this. He's looking on and I don't think he even knew this was coming. Oh no! Oh my god, Ronnie and Cyclone through the table and Samoa Joe! Right in front of us as our announcer was just exploded everywhere. And now look at this. Francis Perry goes in for the kill. Picking up to the scraps on Samoa Joe. I still, I still go on my story. I don't think Franchise knew this was hot. But Destroyer's man here. Look at this. Destroyer leaving the ringside area here. Going up the rampway. You see Destroyer in the background taunting. Oh, come on. Franchise, my God. You got served on the outside. Now, Fred is Perry getting the moment. Definitely sending a statement to someone for bloodshed. And folks will probably leave here off the air. Choice for bloodshed. 